Phil's been ploughing tater yeah. land we rented out to uh, a kid. He got him lifted, finished lifting I think on Tuesday. And uh, where he's jacked in and out in this field, there's bloody loads of taters, real good taters left. So I'm picking a couple of bags. So they're called, they've shelfed the variety, which is a crisper, but they do, uh, they eat fairly well, so. So yeah, yeah, it's plowing really nice actually. To say how wet it was, it, you know, it was bloody horrendously wet some days when they were lifted. And what we've done, we've dragged it with a, oh, um, a bumpered superflow drag with loads of legs. And, uh, and uh, and that put some air in it, and it gave us gave it chance to dry. And now it's uh, we've had we've uh, ploughed it, and it's in real good condition. Just wants two days of dry, and then what I'll do, I'll come with uh, combination drill, and just drill it. That's all it wants. It don't want messing with too much and paddling out air out of it. Just wants sort of uh, drilling now, and try and keep as light footprint as possible. Yeah, very pleased. Had a good day, really. Drilled a bit. That's hard walking across this and all that. Yeah, drilled a bit and we're a bit done. I was like, I noticed there's a hell of a lot of planes in the sky today. And so everything's getting back to normal. One up there, got one up there. I could do with it going all day, to be honest. Could just do with a week in Tenerife. Sat on that beach, just drinking cold Spanish beer. Just been uh, ploughing and I noticed bloody thing was getting warm and you could smell that burnt sort of antifreeze smell. There's a bloody little tiny hole appeared at the bottom of the radiator. So more expense anyway. Managed to get plough off but I don't go on a further. It was nearly on, on red by the time I got here. So I let it cool down, put some more water in it in the morning and get it to the yard so Frank can put another radiator on. I'll take it off and rebuild them. We've got a local firm what actually put new, puts new cars in so what turnaround I don't know but so right I'll go get the magnum I think and go finish with magnum and and uh, I've got a bit of drilling to do so to be fair before night's Friday Friday night yeah so yeah I've got ready for it I know bloody thing there's always some here 
Is it because we run all the stuff? I don't know. I hear you saying, well, if you get some nice, decent tractors. But I don't know. They go wrong and all, don't they? Yeah, they don't have to worry. Well, that car, wheat's coming well, look. Yeah, second wheat. Uh, oh, what variety? Uh, Skyfall. Skyfall wheat. Yeah, it looks fantastic. Yeah, not too thick, not too thin. I think for this time of year, that's about how it should look. So yeah, please. Not the straightest of drilling, per se, it's on track side, but that real bothered. And to get the big guns out, because that bloody thing's broke down. Quite looking forward to it, actually. It's only been on dry this time, and I've done no corn, uh, corn drilling out. I've done no land work whatsoever. So it's, uh, it hasn't been cleaned out since it's been on dryer, and I don't know how it gets in, because it's very sealed, but it's full of calf and, and all sorts of little stuff. It smells like a. Smells like one of them old combines as well, you know when you're going in an hard class dominator, what's been patterned up all year and it has that fusty corn smell. I don't know, it does smell, I don't know what it is, but yeah, when I got this bloody corn I left and uh, everything was going to plan. I've got my drill uh, finished, uh, drill finished, uh, drilling finished, and now I just want to fill the, finish this corn of the far night. And I was supposed to be going to the fair with Lydia, so she's not going to be happy. She didn't want to go in there. Shunting it in where you have to pull it back. 
it looks very dated now, but in its day, it'd be a right weapon, wouldn't it? Sounds beautiful when it's uh, working and all. Very, very powerful. Very torquey, I think. In the era of this horsepower, with this proper horsepower, I mean, that's an 8.3 pump. 8.3 engines, now they're getting like 300 plus horsepower out of them. Which I think is quite extreme, you know, but anyway. Um, but yeah, lovely looking tractor, really. If you had one of them back in the day, I mean, what world is it? Is it N Ridge? P Ridge. P Ridge 97. If you had that new, or you had the business, yeah, you were. You worked on an estate, a big, big, that was a massive tractor in its day. Um, yeah. yeah, nice thing. We've started winter storage in uh, compost. We've, uh, well, there was a lull last week where we weren't on land. And uh, starting to store this compost from Rydale Organics. Beautiful stuff it is. I mean, uh, and analysis is quite high in P and K, a bit of nitrogen in it, and it does boost stuff along. I mean, if you have a blob in the field or a muck hill bottom or anywhere where it gets a bit thick, it can be a bit rich and go down. Um, but uh, it has to be thick to do that. Oh, it smells beautiful though. I'm a bit sad when it comes to this type of stuff. But yeah, it smells really good, like it can do a job. But yeah, we're taking it, we're gonna, we've leaved, left a lot of high sandy patches in fields. Um, field of drill this morning, I left a corner where I can know I can tip muck in winter. And we're gonna pile this stuff up, because there's no legislation, there's no laws. I mean, as long as you keep within the, um, um, no, is it 30 ton per hectare? I think, don't owe me to that, but I think you're allowed to put 30 ton per hectare. Um, and um, you know, I mean, it's on our doorstep, so why not use it? We're thinking about buying our own spreader, so we can do half a day here and there instead of hiring one because we have to go nine miles that way to to get one. Well, if we had our own, a good one, like, um, you know, we've got a little bit more control of a muck spreading, you know, and we can pour a bit with top dress, gr top dress grasses with this. And it does really good. You can't graze it for 21 days after, I don't think. Uh, but I've also done a bit of a deal with a fella for some digest. Uh, he seemed fairly keen. I hope, well, I hope he's keen next year on uh, um, putting some on some heavy land. Um, but, I mean, if you just can store some muck somewhere and save yourself some money. I mean, at my aim... My aim in sort of three, four years time is not even to think about P and K on this farm. Get the levels to a uh, to a level where I, d you know, I can just keep topping them up with hardy hard muck and compost um, and digest it. I don't want to be using it. I don't want to even thinking about it. I want to be testing them every other year to see where we are and uh, index wise, and uh, and then polish them up from there sort of thing. Um, but. Uh, yeah, because it's a cost, isn't it? But all in all, we've got a real good look on. Apart from, I don't know, that barley's got a lot of bloody wheat in it. We've got a barley over there with a lot of barley in it. Uh, rape's coming on leaps and bounds now. It was struggling, a little plant. But that's really shifting now, I mean. All three flats, uh, all four flats. There was one drilled early, that's really lush. A uh, little bit of slug damage here and there, but the other uh, four flats were were drilled uh, at the same time and they're all just coming on right thickness um, you know really pleased so uh, but, but yeah but it's a beautiful evening it really is I mean it's quite warm you could sit outside uh, but I noticed all our gangs at home so that's why I'm knocking off early really um, go see all them lot uh, yeah limp this bloody thing on bloody thing tiny pinprick I mean, I reckon people should braise them. I don't know why it's... You know, why aren't, aren't people... I mean, they'd recore it, but there's a tiny pin pick up, prick up. You can see it's squirting. We'd think they'd clean round it and, and then just pile it up with brazing. You know, 
And I mean, it's easy to bloody test. I mean, block each end up, fill it with uh, and blow it with airline. See if there's anything come out. But I don't know. I might suggest that to Frank actually. Get the bugger off, and let's go see someone who can who can weld and brit, and uh, and and try and fix it. I tried to think how much a radiator for this thing. Well, it'd be a grand, won't it? I don't think it'd be any less than a grand. Right, come on, old girl. Let's link you up. Right, gang at our house. Now we're down here, my eldest lad. And uh, his girlfriend, Hannah, little lass. I don't know what they're doing. Uh, telly's on. Fire's on. Right. If you like these videos, tick and subscribe and uh, we're going to do, I don't know, one or two, well, two a week probably. Uh, give it a go till maybe Christmas and see how popular they get. Uh, a mixed family, it's your trip.